In this video, we are going to take a look at painting custom masks in the 2D view. I will show you how to enable a custom mask with the Atlas Scatter, as well as using the new custom mask blend mode. So here I'm using the Substance Launcher to browse Substance Source, and I'm going to use this Pink Flower Petals Atlas. Since I have Alchemist open, I can click the Send to Substance Alchemist button, and this is going to send this Substance material over to Substance Alchemist for me to use in my project. Now I want to apply this material as an atlas, so I can hold down the shift key and then left click and drag to apply this using the atlas scatter. So here I'm just going through the process of adjusting some of the parameters to set up this particular atlas scatter here on top of the rocks. I'm just adjusting things like the overall size and the height depth, as well as adding ambient occlusion, setting conform to background, and changing some of the position randomness. So now that I have configured this Atlas Scatter, I can now go in and start to create a custom mask. So throughout Substance Alchemist, you'll find that you can use a custom mask for various layers or filters. In this case, with the Atlas Scatter, we have this custom mask option that I can enable here. Once I enable this option, you'll notice here for the custom mask, I have an option to click this button to load an external file that represents the mask, or I can click this paintbrush to create my own mask directly here in the 2D view. So you'll notice here in the 2D view, I now have my paintbrush. I can come over here to the brush icon and adjust the pen size. I can also adjust the size by using the left and right bracket keys. Now, as I start to paint a stroke here in the 2D view, you can see that I'm creating my mask. Notice that as I paint, the stroke is continued across the edge. This allows me to paint seamlessly here in the 2D view. I can also hit the T key to view the actual tile and I can zoom in and out in the 2D view as I start to paint. Now, as I move my mouse away from the paintable area, I can view the result for the specific channel that is enabled. If I need to erase my mask, I can simply tap the X key to invert the brush color. I can also change that here at the top of the UI underneath the brush color option. Clicking the brush color allows me to change this grayscale value from zero to one. So now with a value of zero, I can go in and I can actually erase this. Tap the X key once more, and now I am painting with a full white value, which is allowing me to mask. If you need to reset the mask, you can come up to the top of the UI and choose the Reset Mask option. So now I'd like to showcase a new blending mode that allows us to create custom masks. So first, let me grab a new material, and I'm going to drag and drop this here to my layer stack. You can see that by default, it's set to Height Blend, and of course, I can select the mask and adjust the overall offset. However, if I click the drop down, we have a new option here called Custom Mask Blend. So I'm going to use this option. This allows me to use a mask as input, and we have a new paintbrush option. So I'm going to select the paintbrush. This allows me to paint a mask manually here in the 2D view. I'm going to come up here to the pen size, adjust my pen size, and then I'm going to come in and just start to paint a mask. And you can see by default, we're able to paint a very simple mask here in the 2D view. Now, there's an option here that's very powerful called Use Height Information. If I enable this, I'm able to blend or create my mask based on the underlying height information between the two layers. I can further refine the mask by adjusting any of the parameters, such as mask blur intensity, as well as mask balance. So here again, I can jump back into the 2D view, and I can paint my mask. I can tap the X key to invert my mask and erase if need be. Now, before we close out this video, I want to bring your attention here to the advanced parameters when you're working with the custom mask blend. So I have the mask selected and under advanced parameters, here you have this option to recompute ambient occlusion from height. And so this is an option that you may definitely want to make sure you have enabled. So you'll see a difference once I enable this. We now get more depth and better shadowing with this force cover dry material. If I take a look at the ambient occlusion output itself, you can see here the difference between having recompute AO off versus having it on. Painting custom masks in Substance Alchemist allows you to have full control over how your materials are blended. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.